In this video, we're going to go through the song, uh, I Come to the Garden Alone. And we're going to go through it and we're going to get the vocabulary so you get to know all the words and such for the song um, and how to sign them. And if you've done this with me before, you can kind of skip ahead because I'm about to give you the same spiel that I give on the beginning of all of my vocabulary uh, tutorials. And that is, when you're doing this, make sure that you're doing this not in individual words. Do this in phrases. You just can't imagine how much smoother your signs will be and how much clearer you'll be able to articulate yourself. Because if you learn things in sentences or phrases or even paragraphs, uh, those things can help make you communicate better. Because we don't talk in words. And I say it that way because it's clear. We talk in sentences. And we should sign in sentences. And it also helps you when you're up there and you're trying to learn or trying to remember what comes next. It's easier to remember what line comes next as opposed to what word comes next. Anyway, off my soapbox, and you can start listening again. <laughs> All right, I Come to the Garden Alone. Beautiful song. Tells a story about you, and I want to say that clearly, you. You're the one singing the song. So these words are your words. And as you walk in prayer, with God through some beautiful place, in this instance a garden. These are the emotions and the feelings that you share. Okay? So, I come to the garden alone. I. Throw down. Easy, easiest sign every two-year-old knows. You, me, uh, she, he, it, him, he, you know. All of those just pointed signs. Uh, if I did it with open palm, although it's not the song, open palm is the same thing, only it's yours and mine. It shows possession. His, hers, it's, his, okay? Now, in this particular case, you know, a lot of songs that we sign, we're talking to God and we do a lot of this kind of thing. And this one is kind of a little more introspective. Okay, you'll see how that plays out. So I, we've got our first sign, come. Come. It's kind of like rolling a wheel towards you. I'm going to do that sideways so you can see that it is coming towards me. This is rolling away, and this is rolling towards you. Come. Come is one of those kind of odd little signs. Uh, and it might even be better to sign this, I come, you know, and you kind of, it, it, it's sort of a combination of a, the sign, come and hear. I come, all right? But I come to the garden, okay? And I leave out to and the. Don't need them there. They're superfluous words. In sign language, we try to keep the number of signs minimized. And while I'm not doing pure ASL, uh, I am doing what the deaf call pigeon, and in that case, we do take into account that we are speaking a different language, and that language is sign language, and in sign language, we leave out the words like to and the. <clears throat> Garden. All right, let me do that slowly. Can I start with your pinkies touching out here, and you got little, you got little G's, all right? Pinkies turning out here. And just kind of circle it in to yourself. Okay? Garden. And which is the opposite of group. Okay? So group kind of goes one way, garden comes towards you. All right? Garden. Alone. Start with your number one. And you kind of turn your wrist and drop it down a little bit. And alone is not a sign that you say with a happy face, okay? This one uh, is a pleasant face, but sometimes alone is alone, and you got to get the eyes involved. In this case, they're not complaining about being alone. 
because they know they're going to go meet a friend. I come to the garden alone. And you might even take yourself and move yourself down the garden. Okay? While the dew is still on the roses, while the moisture. Okay, while is two W signs going up and up. And it's not quite that right angly. It's kind of a, uh, what would that be? A uh, parabola. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> anyway, while the dew lead up the, and you just kind of, you know, you, you go in to the sink and you pick up the sponge to see if it's wet and you go, are you wet? That's that sign, okay? While the dew is still on the roses, okay? The sign for is, and I would probably leave it out, be perfectly honest with you, is still on the roses, okay? On, you just lay your hand on the other hand. Uh, still is one thumb pushing the other thumb. So if you're right-handed, your right-hand thumb is pushing your left-handed thumb. Okay? Uh, I guess if you're left-handed, it would be the other way around. Okay? Anyway. Uh, still on the roses. This is time for flower. And not many flowers in sign language have their own sign. I don't know that there's a sign for chrysanthemum, which there should be because it's so hard to spell. But anyway, rose has its own sign. It's like flower, only it's with an R, which gives you rose. Okay? And the voice I hear, and, and you take your hand, it's an open palm pointing to like, uh, whatever, your side, to the side of you, and coming back into where all your fingers are together. And <clears throat> the voice I hear, do not the voice. It's a letter V coming from where the voice does, okay? The voice I hear. And you just point to your ear and like you're listening. If you just point to your ear, it's like you're the ear. But if you cock it a little bit and listen, and make it look like you're listening, the voice I hear, falling on my ear. This is kind of poetic. <clears throat> it means this is the voice I hear. And I needed some extra words to throw into the song to make the beat right. Falling on my ear, though, would be the sign. Falling, just like fingers are kind of dangling, falling on my ear. I leave out the word on all together. Just kind of raining on my ear. The Son of God discloses. The Son, this is a sign for boy, coming down like little baby, but you don't do the rocking. The Son of God and you can do a little of in there if you want to. Of God or just Son God. And God is like coming out, up, and down with a little more smoothness and less right angles than that. All right. The Son of God discloses. Now there's a word. There's a word that you don't use an awful lot. Disclose. It's it's kind of like my, my son says, never use a big word when a diminutive one can work better. And in this case, that's what the author has done. Disclosure. It disclose. It's just another word for tells or says. Okay? Or even shows. Okay? All of those things can be disclosed depending on the context. And so whatever way you feel like you hear that saying, the Son of God speaks. He's talking about, in the garden alone, talking with God. All right. And then we have the chorus. 
work on the chorus because it's going to happen twice. And if you get it done, you got half the song done if you get just the chorus figured out. And he, now even though he's with you walking, will point up to indicate that it is a, it is God or Jesus that is walking with you. He walks, and it's just your feet, one foot in front of the other, with me, with the two, two A hands coming together, me, and he talks with me, and he tells me, boy, we know all of those signs already, I am his own, okay? Am is the letter A coming off of the chin. You need to be careful about this one because an A coming off the chin is am. An A coming under the chin is not. And if you change the word to not, then the whole song kind of loses its meaning. So make sure you have it there. Am, his, and remember my little spiel from the beginning where I talk about uh, ownership, yours and mine and his, okay? His own. I'll bounce it once there, just because it makes me heal, right? Right? Okay, his own. And the joy, all right? In sign language, the center finger, if it's down, it indicates that uh, there's some kind of an emotion or feeling that's going to be happening, all right? So, and, you know, you have mer mercy and sympathy and... Uh, uh, feeling down, feeling up, how you feeling, uh, how you feeling? You know, you put a little question mark on there, how you feeling would be uh, appropriate. And in this case, two fingers out like that coming up is joy. And that joy really ought to be showing there right here on your mouth as well. Okay. Joy we share, we, okay. Um, we is the same thing as me, only there's two of us, okay? So one side and the other. You start on the side that has your elbow, and you go to the other side. We share. One hand up, and it's kind of going back and forth across the top. Like, some for you, some for me, some for you, some for me. Share. As we tarry there, as, and I'm not even sure I would, put it in the song, but it is the sign for as, uh, two fingers together right here, coming together, and the two fingers are together again back here. As we tarry, and tarry is one of, it's, it's, uh, they're kind of wasting time, they're, they're enjoying each other's company. They're spending time together. They're just postponing and separating. All right. This is the postpone as they tarry. And as they're walking in the garden, instead of just here, I actually have them kind of taking little steps. All right. As they tarry there. And there, instead of just being a single place, again, because they're walking is there, and we kind of built this little pathway area here that uh, we're walking along. So we tarry there, none other has ever known. None. None. This is two zeros coming right at you. None other, like you're hitchhiking, okay, has ever, and you take two fingers and just kind of roll them around to you. Has ever known? Oh, has. I'm sorry. Has ever. You got to put a has in there to make this past tense. Has ever. Has ever known. I'll get my hands untangled here in a second. So that's the chorus. Once you know it and you have it down pat, you got half the song. <clears throat> now comes the last verse is he speaks and the sound. Point to your ear and do a sound, okay? Point to the ear, 
And I guess it's the sound waves. I'm not sure what that is for about, but it's sound. Uh, of his voice. Uh, if you can put that in there if you want to. Of uh, his voice. And it's the it's the letter V coming off the voice box where your neck is. The voice is so sweet. Is so. And so is one of my favorite words because it has no meaning. It's a it's a it's a chameleon word. It blends in to whatever sentence you use it in. Uh, in this case, it's an emphasis. So it's it's to say that it's so sweet. All right, truly sweet. The way the deaf will emphasize something is to do truly. It is so so is kind of like am, but with letter I. So sweet. All three of those signs are right there at the chin. Sweet. You know, you've been to the carnival. You've had the cotton candy or a candied apple. And where does it wind up getting? It's on your chin, isn't it? So you have to wipe it off the chin. That's where the sign sweet comes from. Uh, the birds hush their singing. The birds, I get their beat. Hush. One of the first signs my kids ever learned was Sit down, turn around, be quiet. Hush. They're singing. Okay. Now, the deaf don't have a whole lot of use for a bunch of different signs for things that have to do with music. This is basically the sign for music. Any kind of music. Okay. Singing, melody, harmony, uh, Humming, uh, you know, anything that has to do with singing, uh, music, it has playing a song. Uh, it's all there. Uh, and if you think about it, there's, there's a reason for that. The deaf don't have anything that relates to music. It's like a blind man has nothing to relate to color. Some things are just vacant. Music is one of those things. Now, that doesn't mean that we, as we sign, and as we interpret, we can't give them the rhythm. They definitely have rhythm. And we can certainly give them the flavor of the song as we give it to them. But anyway, say, sort of give it off a little tangent there. And the melody, and the melody, again, the song, whatever, that he gave, I leave out the word that, gave, and it's him putting something in my hand, and I take it, and I bring it toward myself. That's it. Gave to me within my heart. Okay? Within. This is a sign for in. Make a cup. Get your fingers all together. Put your fingers in the cup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move that cup up here, and I'm going to say within. So it gives them already an idea of what's going to be said next. Within my heart is ringing. 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 I, uh, you know, I, I don't hear any ringing. What did he give you? All right. And the melody or the song that he gave to me is in my heart doing something. What does the song do? It sings. So we're going to sign that as sings. Sometimes you have to have, really have to read the song to figure out what it's actually saying. All right. After that, we have the chorus, and you've already been through it. So learn these signs. Learn them well. Learn them in sentences and phrases, not individual words. Get to where you can do them, okay, in sentences. And then move on to the next video where we'll go through the song uh, sort of uninterrupted. It won't be sung, but it'll be done slowly and it won't be uh, interrupted. You'll go through the whole song. Okay? All right. Looking forward to seeing you there at, L at LTC. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to drop me an email. My email can be found on the ltcsw.org site. Uh, just find me on there somewhere, send me a note, I'll respond, I promise. All right. Looking forward to seeing you there. Good luck.